All right, welcome to the Salza Real Estate Team conversation about renting and owning. Wanted to go over the kind of the pros and the cons a little bit. So we're gonna start with this house, which is 919 Coulter. I had an investor make an offer on this house that wasn't accepted and now it's withdrawn. So um, I don't have the best photos of it up here because it's withdrawn and it's on realtor.com instead of on our MLS. Uh, anyway, this house was on the market at 365. It dropped to 356.7. I think we offered 350 on it because that's the number we could cash flow. So we're using this house at $350,000 in our examples over here when we get to the numbers. Kendall's going to talk about the advantages of renting and owning, um, and then I'll come back and talk about those numbers. So the advantages to renting is that you only have to sign a one-year lease, so you can move very easily every 12 months. The other advantage is that you have an owner making the repairs for you. The disadvantage is that your money is renting the space, but your money doesn't have any additional benefits with it. The advantages to owning is that you're still renting your space, but your money is gaining value over time. And the disadvantages is where someone else is maintaining your property. Now you have to maintain the property yourself. So let's look at the numbers. So if we're looking at the same house, we're gonna look at 919 Coulter that we were just looking at over here. That's our fancy 919 Coulter. And we're gonna buy it at 350. It's gonna cost us $42,000 in cash and we're gonna get a loan of 315. This is roughly 10% down. It's a little bit higher than that because you've got loan closing costs in there. So your total in is 357. So let's look at that now. What is that yearly? So yearly, you're gonna pay taxes, $2,119. Insurance, $1,500. You're gonna have repair costs of $2,100, um, and you're gonna pay a mortgage of $20,873 for the year. So monthly, if we add all these up and divide them by 12, our monthly cost to own Coulter is $2,330. So that's our monthly cost to own. So if we're paying rent of $2,330, well then the owner breaks even. If we're paying rent of $2,335, the owner gets an extra five. If you're paying two, three, twenty-five, well then the owner is paying five dollars to own this property. So you can rent the property for less or more than this cost to own, but that's the true cost to own. And if this is your rent amount, then you're paying all the owner's bills. And so over here on my fancy pencil drawing, um, so here are the benefits that that owner gets from you paying the mortgage. So right now, remember we said we had $2,100 a year in repairs available? That's calculated into my yearly costs, right? So that money sits in an account at some, but for either the owner or the, well, for the owner to use for repairs going forward. And the mortgage is getting reduced $6,000 a year over here. So even though a renter has all these advantages that they're not the one taking care of the house, they have the ability to move if job changes, life changes, anything changes. They're paying roughly $600 a month into that owner's pocket. And so that's one of the reasons that I try to help people purchase their rental properties rather than um, stay a renter for life is I, I think this benefit over time um, really helps people out. So, so there are great benefits to renting. There are great benefits to owning. Um, if you're not sure who to talk to or how to have that conversation, call us, call Kendall, call me. We'll talk through the advantages of renting. We'll talk through the advantages of owning. Um, we'll help you create a plan so that you're making informed decisions uh, with your real estate choices. Thanks.